North London Avenue dirt bike occupied one time eastbound San Andreas speed is 80, traffic is light, weather is clear, right southbound strawberry. Five five four seventy six. Right westbound with Butch is in circles on uh, Elgin Avenue. Sorry, Lincoln Strat, northbound Elgin Avenue, right eastbound San Andreas. Right southbound strawberry. I tried to show you the truth and they got me for it. Right westbound with Butch. Cox, dude. Yeah, what I was trying to say is, um, I played, for, I was playing Crim the other day, a little bit of sludge diesel action, and uh, I was amazed at how easy the cars handle as a Crim. Like, this is from Phantom's POV or Phantom McGregor, if you know him. Um. I was driving though, but I wasn't streaming on, on Sledge Diesel. And uh, I'm just amazed at how easy these cars handle. Like, you can do whatever you want. Like, it's like, it's like impossible to get, it, it, not impossible to get caught, but like, they have someone in custody here. And I'm kind of just like screwing with them because, like, I know that they can't catch me. And so, like, Holden, Holden's on the ground over here, Holden Malou, Ravens, uh, Diamond Dog. And we just like pull up, and I'm like, all right, well, you know. He loads him in the car, um, in front of them, and we get chased. And it's like the quickest chase in the world. Like, driving these cars is so easy. I, I, to me, the biggest difference isn't the top speed, because the top speeds are very comparable. In fact, the charger is a little faster, because we had three people in the car. But it's it's the handling. Like, every corner can... is easy. It's Every corner feels like I have no no trouble keeping traction and staying on the road versus like when you're in a charger, you're basically fighting for control every single corner. Like I take that, I take that corner at 80 miles an hour and there's not even a single, like not a single problem, an 80 mile an hour corner. Yeah, it's like car cars, but like better. Because it's an S plus car. Now there's a Taurus and Charger on us, and they both have one person apiece too. I, I, we're driving like 120, and here comes a corner. 130. Look at the top speed. I take this corner at like 90 miles an hour, and it just stays glued to the ground. Meanwhile, they're fighting for control back there. I think we ended up losing him, like, right here. Because, like, right here, it's just... This is what it's most obvious to me, is when I'm doing, like, the corners like that. Well, streaming, um... Maybe Luca, but Luca wasn't in the car with us at this point. Luca was... Luca got caught and went to jail, so... Um... Didn't matter. Like, there they get fucked by locals, and it's just over. And then we drive away, and I go and repair and refuel. And then they... They come through right as we're leaving and we get chased again. But like... I don't know, like if you watch the Charger, it, it's like really close to us here. But... I don't know, driving the car is just so much easier is the point I'm trying to make. I don't think driving... It's not a driving lesson thing. I've been driving a GTA for seven years. It's not a driving skill thing. The, the cars are just different that's all it is it's not like i'm a different person when i'm driving different cars but the charger is keeping up in terms of top speed but just the, the fact that i'm in total control of the vehicle i'm not worried about it spinning out i'm not worried about it like colliding with anything it's just so much easier yeah a mid-tier driver in a civ car and then add to the fact that civ cars can basically like you can you just go around and practice driving all day. It's like, it's, holy shit, it's so easy. I'm like I think we lost them around here. 
But taking like a corner like that. I don't, know, I don't know when we end up losing him, but I don't know. It's just it's just so much easier to take the corners and this fucking car. I was I was actually amazed. I was talking to Raven about it in DMs afterwards. And I was like, I did not know it was that easy to drive. Uh, the kind of like even halfway decent civ cars. Hey, have a good one. Exactly, Dusty. That's I mean it is it's a conjunction of multiple issues, but. To, to be blunt on the driving thing, like, look at it. I'll take a corner here at 60 miles an hour. We're running with it right here. If I take a corner, like, let's hit this left turn up here. At, like, I'll take it at, like, 60 miles an hour or so. And I'll show you what I mean. Because, like, in the two, in, in that car we were in, the uh, Dodge Dart, I was just glued to the grounds. I didn't have any problem with traction. But if I take this corner at 70... Like, that's what the car wants to do. If I don't control it at all, and I'll actively try to drive it, that's what it does every time. Versus the, the civilian car is driving. We, we had three people in that car for the chase, and then five total when I was driving it for the majority of the time. Versus the police cars had one person in them each. And this has one person in it right now. Like, on this corner, you know... Like you think that I mean like I'm I'm like I'm actually like using the brakes to control the car. That's it's a learn skill and it's not not super easy to do. It's like you lose a lot of speed because the the tire like I don't know how to explain it, but if you want to go into racing terms, every time your car loses traction, that is horsepower that's not being applied to the concrete or the asphalt, and you're not getting the most acceleration you could right so every time you hear the squealing like that just know you're losing speed that's all that means is like you're losing speed if you hear squealing but that's that's how it is driving a charger it's you, you can you can just see it going and squealing every time you make a corner Almost the car here. Oh. I'll tow for it. Parking violation. Let's see if a tow truck comes through. Five seven five seventy six. Do I have my? Also, an underrated part that's not really considered when you do the whole, like, first crim stuff is that uh, civs will drive their cars around going as fast as, you know, going crazy fast all the time. And uh, they're effectively practicing driving all the time. Because, like, when they're driving to and from errands, like, when they're driving to Shrugway, when they're driving to uh, Maldini's Pizza, or their gun guy, or their apartments, or the next job, they're driving top speed as fast as they can because they're criminals and they don't follow traffic laws, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But cops kind of like don't get that same so amount of drive. practice in. But when cops drive the stuff, they're hopefully not going as fast as possible and taking jumps. You know, when I drive around, I'm going like a little above the speed limit. But like this is how I drive when I'm driving around to like stuff that's not police pursuits and stuff, right? And uh, when I think you're on civilian or crim. And you're driving around. You're driving like, you're driving like this. So you're driving in opposite lanes. You're cutting corners. You're doing shit like this, and it's like that. Effectively, is like giving you practice all the time. And cops just don't get that same kind of practice. I guess it's 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 a really under understood part of the equation when it comes to like why cops struggle to catch crims. Also, to be blunt, um, Copy that. crims will put their best driver behind the wheel uh, most of the time, and cops kind of all 
have to drive. There's very few people that get to be a designated passenger princess type moment. Like Nakoda is kind of famous for it, not Malcolm Nakoda with Sora's, but there's very few cops that get the uh, the privilege of being able to be in the passenger seat 100% of the time. Um, some FTOs do. Uh, some people have partners they ride with every day, but for the most part, I would say 80 to 70% of cops um, are driving the car themselves. Difficult. All good there, Sheriff? Yep. Watching this uh, this car here? I called a tow for it. Oh, you got a tow for it? Yep. Okay. Am I in trouble? Why would you be in trouble? I don't know. Did I do Am something I wrong? Yeah, you're in trouble. You oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. You gotta, you gotta box those guys in, man, when they're just sitting there parked, you know? Don't give them an inch, man. Don't let them breathe. Don't give them an inch. Don't give them an inch. Listen, I'll be straight with you. I was having fun with that driver. I have a lot more fun when they're behind bars, because they broke the law. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm kind of like a, you know, like a, I don't know, a lion. like to play with their food a little bit before they, you know, catch them. A lion doesn't let the gazelle get away, Jigs. Aren't gazelles faster than lions? They still don't let them get away. Are you sure? Because uh, I'm pretty sure like 80% of their hunts uh, end up in failure. I've been watching a lot of documentaries lately. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. Okay, animal nerd. I do like animals sometimes. Skunk. What are we doing here? Thought we were waiting for tow. That's what I'm doing. You're in the road, man. Now you're in the bike lane. Yeah, this is a bike lane, isn't there? Yep. How many cyclists use the bike lanes in the city, though? He's breaking the law an excuse because no one follows it. Hmm. Is this a violation of law? Yep. We're kind of doing our jobs, right? I am. Okay. I'm not in the bike lane. That's true. I'm not trying to merge right, so I shouldn't be in the bike lane. So I'm trying to merge right. What's going on here? What are you doing here? There we go. There we go. I'm just providing backup. I don't want to, you know, see you out here alone by yourself, you know, getting this car towed and, uh, you know, something happens. It's Los Santos after all. I think I'll be okay making sure this car gets towed. You think it'll be alright? I think I can handle it. Is that your uh, way of telling me to fuck off? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fuck off now, Sheriff. Alright. Maybe you can box those guys in next time. I was trying. Okay. What an odd conversation that was. He's protecting me. Yeah. Well, I'm not even like really worried about this car getting towed. I'm just kind of, you know, sitting here. Radio check. 10 2. Yep. Just sitting here chilling. Off 21 10 41. I know, he's an LSPD. He's gonna brown as the sheriff for
He wants you, OG. Latest 99 Alpha. 209, 76 after these repairs. 501, same traffic. 458. Copy that. Y'all are going to be looking for a black and orange comet on Medway Thunder Drive westbound. So I guess there's just no tow going for this, huh? That's wild. When is the shootout, OG? Whatever I want it to be. Five to three, ten thirty-eight. Eastbound, Vanit Boulevard. Oh, green color Camacho, who can is? S Miller and East Insane Matter in there. Could you Whatever, I'm calling it as an inoperable to give Petito right something to do. Go we'll find some food or something. Vinewood and Los Lagunas near the up and Adam, that's where they're at. Huge mute, I sneezed. Can we track our updates for that uh, 99 Alpha? Southbound Dutch London. It's approaching the uh, Arsenal right now. It's going towards Dutch London East. Check your direction. Rooster's rest is open. Passing Arena. Your rating sneezes? Eastbound El Rancho Boulevard, passing the barrio. Wait, Diego, you fed that like, drink back water. you? Like, just choked my water? Quiet. Merging northbound El Rancho Boulevard, passing Marietta Oil Fields. Hello, give me a moment, I'm already working on another. What's that? I said give me a moment, I'm working on a, on a big order right now. Oh, okay. I got it, it's I'll be with you as soon as I can. El Rancho Boulevard on DCB again. Oh, uh, got eyes again. We're northbound El Rancho. What? Transitioning really northbound. We got away with murder. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. Oh no, it's near Mir Park gas Eric station. Eric blew up a car. What? What? Other ones got eyes. Westbound Mir Park Boulevard. Crossing over Los Santos Freeway. Ordering the land again. Crossing Haywick is super fast. Crazy. Oh, that should happen real. Right again. Uh, eastbound. Clinton. BCB. Didn't come south. BCB, code 6, Algon. Marker update southbound Power Street. Up to merge with lower power. What? Oh. Sure. Sure. Oh, thank you. We're southbound Alta Street passing the scrapyard. Alright, sorry for the delay. 
That's okay. Um, should I get a large cock combo? Yes, sir. With a <laughs> Papa Dia, Divine Dia. Shark yes. update northbound South Rockford Drive passing Tonghub. Divine Dilla. No, because you, you can get smacked across the face for that. Because I'm going to come across. Man, it's been a while since I've been here. I forgot it was called the Divine Dilla. Yeah. I want pizza. Fuck. I'm at a lake, but do you think just because you got your little fake ass? I forget where we stand on this as a community. Do we? Are we? Are we a a community that shames Little Caesars enjoyers? We're VCB. I think it's rapid. You will never be that. You will never be that. Confirm. Is it orange or black? Color. Comment. Last seen going northbound. North Rockford Drive. Here you go. One last combo with Divine Dela on the trade. All right, thanks. All right, go. and North you're North sunset, North right? Okay. That's right. All right, I just want to make a double check. Appreciate it. Did you got visual? Have a good one. Negative. Extra most bestest. Solid value pizza. That's what I'm saying. Value-wise, it's great. Hope everything is going well. Dude, it's crazy. On Friday, things were falling apart. But now, for some reason, like, it was like a great evil left. And it's out of town now. And everything's been super, super great since... Since, uh, Saturday morning. Like, a great evil was exercised from the state of Los Santos. And everything's been, like, perfect. I don't know what it could have be though. Anyway, it's Sergeant T. <laughs> Ooh, I think I saw a new. Wait, hold on. This is new too. I saw a new storefront I wanted to check out somewhere else in the city. I don't know where that is though. Storefront time. Storefront time. Wait, this is an Apple store. This fucking sucks! VPNs and radios. A small little store. They ain't got no back? Ooh, I bet I could... I bet I could run through the walls before they load in. And then I'll be untouchable. Damn. Actually, I actually don't think I can. Because my computer is too good. I gotta get back to watching Pasty play My Summer Car. I'll see you later. Is he doing the rally at least? Past the one you haven't been in yet. Okay, let's try it here. Alright, let's try it. Fuck. Big old lobby. I've got it southbound on Sonora Road. Certified demos or flying demos by certified. Southbound Sonora Road. kind of cool, actually. Elgin. Tips and tricks for an easier ride. Still approaching Elgin. Off roads, taking a southbound. Oh, it's a good tourism Road. agency. Oh god, I got stuck at a bush. The southbound Los Santos Freeway, taking off road towards Elgin. Standby. Southbound Elgin. Holy shit. Southbound Elgin Avenue, then left, uh, eastbound Vineyard Boulevard. Night vision goggles. Disregard, they went off road down to Los Santos Freeway on VCB. Accessible storefront map. Ooh. I've got, uh, maybe an interview. I'm gonna need that. I don't know, watching me on, uh, on Los Santos Freeway. I think they might it's be around here in the bush. Currently northbound Ellis Freeway, correct lens travel. Passive storefront Richard. maps. Perfect. Seeds earnings, uh, uh, north southbound. Still in correct lane, southbound. Heavy war warning. Over, what is that, overhang warning? Interference vehicles, northbound. Unknown. Storefront? Ellis Freeway. Oh, okay, That's medical, tool, automotive, electrical, gardening, B-care. Oh, B-care is its whole category? 
security, gifts, art, gaming, cafe, clothing, cigarettes, sports, hunting, bar, jewelry, mechanics, trophy, escape rooms, recording studios, bags, retreats, scouts, Jake, joke, that's joke, uh, Jim, laundrette, museum, paranormal, bookstore, weed dispensary, weapons, lawyers, detectives, vets, Skater, four and four, media, map HQ. Page like four, true match. Oh, this is neat. Version what five is dedicated to my best friend Monty. May he rest in peace. I miss you every day. Monty Colder. Oh, it's a rabbit. I don't know if I got this. Oh, this is neat. It's a map of all the storefronts, and it's got like icons for where stuff is. Currently boxing the vehicle in. Vehicles are only uh, reversing south. It's hand drawn, like an actual map. The construction site exiting Alta Street, same by for direction. It's facing south and Alta Street approaching Cerberus. So this is two mash. You got three here. Request one additional seventy-seven to parallel for the uh, interference. Channel this is fucking cool. Copy that, Channel One. Gangsta's Paradise. Ooh, let's go visit the Gangsta's Paradise. Gun range. Del Perro. Where is that at? This is the Del Perro freeway. I'm assuming it's over here. Where is it the pier? I don't think it was the pier. Oh, this is the pier, you're right. Well, yeah, I think so. I'd put it together. Downtown. LSPI. Oh, this is so neat. Okay. East side autos. digital oh this is grape seed very nice they got a collection harmony little soul oh shit hold on pizzeria okay that's a pizza place okay i see where this is now ooh cafe very nice Mirror Park has a few. How many pages is this bad boy? 15, 16. Oh, Sandy. What does Sandy have? You have like the three. So I know all three of these. Okay. Someone I didn't know is the Lady What Apothecary. I didn't know about that. South LS. Vespucci. Was a parachute store? Camp and bait parachute store. I want to go visit some of these. This is an emergency. I got to go to the pier. Go to the gun range. Harvey Holden accidentally got run over. Holy fuck.
wait, I'm on the pier. Where is this? There's a gun range supposedly here. Definitely illegal to stuff a midget with coke and treat him like a pinata. Oh, you're in international water? Was I here? It's just the middle of the parking lot now. Maybe I don't understand the map. Isn't that just parking lot down there? Is that not just a parking like what is it one of these? Might be gone. I don't know where it is then. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't know where it's supposed to be because there's just no building there. It's, it, the icon's here. Right? This has been a parking lot forever. There's never been anything here. I don't know where this is supposed to be. Maybe this is the gun range. Do we think about that? This is just the gun range? Maybe these are enterable? Show me 1042. Have a good night. Copy that. Show you 1042, 1145, have a good night. I never I I can honestly say I've never been in the women's restroom before. I guess this is just how they all are. I had no idea. Go piss girl. I, you know what? I am going to go piss girl. Hold on. Move my car down here. It's accurate. All right. No, you know, I wouldn't know any better. I've never been. Clear the staircase, car coming through. Clear the staircase, car coming through. Excuse me. Fucking told him, dude. You're being real fucking dramatic right now. Okay, that's the. I, I've not been inside a women's restroom before, but I, I do remember going to church when I was much, much younger. And uh, they had like one of those doors that's not exactly a door, it's just like an S bend, right? Where you can kind of see like the, the mirrors or whatever, um, like the sinks. So you can kind of see in it if like you look or whatever. And uh, I remember being there late at church when no one was around besides like, 
Yeah, I was peeping Tom. Uh, anyway, the church is empty, and uh, I remember seeing, like, they had, like, fucking furniture in there. Like, they had couches and stuff. I don't know, what, what is it with churches and bathrooms, specifically women's bathrooms, having, like, furniture? You know what, I'm going to say it. Uh, women are jealous. Women are jealous uh, about the urinals. They're efficient. They're efficient and you're jealous. Stay mad, hater. Sometimes it's a place to breastfeed. Actually, that's that's a really good point. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Hmm. This is nice. Love to piss in a bowl next to my homies. First of all, not a bowl. Urinal is very different. Seconds. It is nice to piss with your homies. Maybe it's this building. I'm breaking in. This is a seven four five eight return from head pop ten eight. See that six oh seven. Show me your ten eight twelve thirty three. Love my homo trench. Uh, what? I don't know where this fucking gun range is. I'm convinced it's just a public open air gun range at this point. Yes, fifteen bar. What? Where the fuck is the gun range? I'm looking back at the book again. We're consulting the book one last time before I give up on the gun range. Okay. So, it shows the gun range here. This is the Del Perro Free. Here. Gangsta's Paradise. Gun range. Here's the icon. And that's here. And then if I if I look at the map, oh wait, The arcade is also in the middle here. I don't know. If we look at the actual map, like... It suggests that it's in this parking lot, no? Car coming through. Car coming through. Sweet Jesus. Watch it. That's terrible. Oh my god. 
I, I told you, man. Jesus. I'm calling the fucking cops. God, drama queen. Behind me. I mean, this is the arcade, right? King Spice, do we possibly have a trespasser in MRPD? How am I supposed to blue and now it's calling them and telling them to get out? No, it's not the arcade. Uh, looks very similar to Bloom. Uh, oh, here we go. Bloom. Oh, this is the arcade, okay. Carmine's probably thinking now. Sells phones and, ooh, a $45,000 drone. That's a lot of fucking money for that. Let me throw MRPD. Click the, uh... It looks like the uh, arcade for Mr. Robot. Can I shoot my friends in here and practice my shooting? Sizzling, hot and heavy, burning the lanes, getting steamy, flushed, warmer, clammy, thawed out, cold shoulder, ice cold. The love professor. Seek the love expert. How it works. Oh, these look like butt plugs. Um, bring someone special. Grasp the vibrating rods. Await your love results. Bring someone else in repeat. Huge. That's kind of neat. Thinking about buying a drone that's half my money. Okay, so if that's the arcade, then the gun store, presumably, or the gun range has to be in one of these buildings. He's in the police station. He's not in the Del Perro police station. Sorry, right. seems to bump into you guys. Alright, so I can't find the gun hey, range. Going to the gym later? Is it in the bathrooms? Hello? Gun range? Here's the gun range. Is it in the Takaria? Please, I need to shoot this gun. You see that shit? Excuse me. 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 I don't know where the gun range is. I put it doesn't exist. Excuse me. 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 Hello there. 
Fellas! Excuse me. 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 Oh, here it is. Maybe. Oh, this is. Oh, this is it. Okay. What building is this? Out of tower. Welcome. Ooh, this is OOT. Oh, it's like a seaside gun range. They can be criminals and shoot guns. And they sell $17,000 machetes in here. All right. This is a very unsafe gun range. We have to enter a glass door in front of the shooters. So if someone's in this range, if you want to enter, you got to walk in front of them. Big fan of that. Not really a whole lot going on here, yeah. Gun closet? <laughs> well, where else are we going to check on the map? What else we got going on here? We got the LSPI private investigators. Skate shop. Uh, this is grapeseed. I ain't driving all the way up there. Happy, what's your... uh, put over here. It's a little soul. Technology, technology, medical, cool. Polaroid cameras. Hmm. Uh, most storefronts don't really sell food unless they have people there actively all the time. Battle life. Shallow 18 plus store. You guys want to go to the 18 plus store in Mirror Park? The Dragon Eye Detective Agency. Hmm. And Polito's got a lot of stores here. Rockford Hills. Oh yeah, the parachute store. Camp and bait. I think that... I guess it's like over here. Let's go buy a parachute. I bet they're like $30,000 for a parachute. Skunk, you can't be in chat when we go to the 18 plus store, I'm sorry.
PBMC is going to steal money from the parking meter again. I don't think I have to worry about PBMC at this hour. It's not AU enough. But maybe. I don't know. There ain't even a parking meter on this one. He's 21, he says. All right. Well, we're not even going to the store yet. We're going to the... There's a fucking ladder here. What the hell? Is this a parachute store or what? We got a beach. Any lead today, OG? I don't, I don't think so. I, I love League, but I might need a day's break. I played a lot last night with Tinker in 80s. And floaties. I don't. Can you even use these? Is there any mechanic behind this? Any Fortnite today, OG? Ooh. Ooh. Fortnite. Is not parachute so. Any WoW today? Damn, no. Uh, I do want to play WoW, but probably when 10.2 comes out. Some little feller stuff. Playing the ranked build mode. Let's go. Any gambit today? Ooh, now you're asking the important questions. I do love some gambit. Hey, where were we just in? Son of a beach. We were there. I need to go to the other side of the building. Okay. On the north side. The return of Little Feather is going to be huge. Uh, is Little Feather geared enough? Probably not, but I'm working on it. Oh, look. They're at my car. Not this one. Radio check. Ten two, ten two, ten Ooh, it's this one, okay. So wait, ten forty two. That is inappropriate, dude. That gnome. I don't want to make a payment. Radio, vest, uh, lock, fix or pair kits. Their pair kits are cheaper than ours. I think hey, copper pair kits the, are like a thousand bucks. That, uh, from the, uh, Pretty good. I think it was a Kanjo. I could be wrong, but it was black in color. It had blacked out windows and it had one of those luggage rack things on the top. All right, it didn't come back to a wide derp. Last four is going to be one Charlie six. Ooh, they got any changing rooms? I, I don't know if I managed Backpacks. to actually get a uh, plate read on it. Because um, I did reset my, Flashlights. my uh, plate read a couple of times during that. So I, I can't be sure. You said... Okay, no problem. Who's selling the flashlights? Harper Belmont selling their flashlights. Flashlight and personal. Interesting. There's a whole store stock with Harper flashlights. I don't know. It's peculiar. Still didn't find any damn parachutes though. Oh, and they stole my car. That's great. Well, that they stole my car because I went inside a building with no, no contact whatsoever. And ignore it. I don't understand where this 
fucking stores, though. A parachute store. I, I, I checked every building here. Not here. This is like the block tomb. Is it up a level? Like on the roof? Oh, this one says Vespucci Camp and Bay. So this is the one. It just doesn't have parachutes, I think. Because that's what this store said. For the, uh, the map. They just don't sell parachutes. Look, uh, it says right here. Camp and bait. Parachute store. And they just don't sell parachutes. They sell Harper Belmont's flashlights. Hmm. So they drove off to my charger. Took it to the clothing store. Very cool. Uh, I guess I'm walking, so what other stores are around here? Forofa Media. I don't know what that does. Cafe. Not really anything over here. Flywheels, which I don't know what that is. Down the road. Dispatch nine six seventy six latest thirty seven buck in your way. Yeah. Uh, make sure they you pwned get me. Summons with you because it's a uh, gang tip. It is. Yeah, apparently the Saints slept down there now. Yeah, Saints it's have gonna been be the hauled same. down. Paper. They we pwned me. We, we passed through with Air One there today. There was uh, one blue vehicle. Uh, they had a bank, and there was at least three or four individuals on um, on the Buccaneer dock. Now they're really just taking anything as gang turf now, huh? Yeah, they've been highly aggressive to any police presence in the area too. They also had individuals on the rooftops of the warehouses. Damn, that's scary. Alright, well, I'll disregard this. I know Bobby did Air 1 over there earlier. I'm gonna see what the result of that was. Got fucking pones. Where is this store here? Should, flywheel should be. One blue vehicle, one white motorcycle. Um, and one of the other was uh, on top of the like, uh, warehouses. Right here. Thank you. This one? They don't really look like doors, to be honest, but. Here they are. Huh. I don't know where the door is for this building. Could be this building, though. Who's this one? Is that the case of where it just doesn't fit on the map or something? Looks like it's two blocks from here. I might have gone too far actually, it's probably over here. Damn. Who's with the car now? So here, let's go see what they're doing with it. Mm. You think they broke it and pooped in it and peed in it? Wow. And you think they they beat it up and pooped on it and stuff? Classic. 
ça suffit. So literally no interaction on that, and that's interesting. They okay, steal it, beat it up, break it, drive it two blocks, and then leave it. You okay, Spencer? Yeah, what's up? I don't know, some some woman with a BBMC car just pulled up to me. He's like, is Svensson okay? Is he looking for something? So, oh, there she is. Oh, I guess I got fans. Uh, yeah, I was just making sure you didn't get, like, attacked or anything. Uh, no autographs, please. Sorry. I'm not taking any Hi, autographs. Do you want something over here? I'm not signing any autographs, ma'am. No fans, please. Okay, what are you up to? I'm not signing your autograph. I don't care how many times you ask, ma'am. I'm not asking for an autograph. I'm asking what you're You are doing. on my dick. What do you want an autograph for? So why are you in Vespucci? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to ask you why you're in Vespucci. Okay. I don't care. I don't answer to you. Hmm. Okay. But I thought. See you later. I just got fans everywhere, man. Okay, just just be careful with your fans over here. They might mobilize. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. OG, you're literally dead. Maybe. I don't think there's any other interesting clothing stores over here either. Do they follow me? Is it open? Are they open in there? Uh, no. Ugh. I think that they said the other day that cops are banned from there for some reason. Crazy. All right. I don't know why. I know Uwu is preparing to open. Well, who cares if I'm That's banned? They're not even fucking open. No, he didn't rob me. They just held me up and took my rim. That's a black two door, like classic style, like. You can't be in Vespucci. Top and down in the back. Um, I see nothing east of uh, San Andreas, West San Andreas, towards uh, Rockford. R O is Jack Bates trying to sell me a knife and I didn't buy it and they stole my rim and held me up. Is a Benchy? The PD parking lot gang? I think I'm okay with the PD parking lot gang over here. But a lot nicer. Damn, they really punched and kicked this car a lot, huh? Uh, I don't think the PD parking lot gang is operating today anymore. Is there any cool uh, What is this area? This is still the apparel? Burger shot. What is a lock icon? Lock fix. Street sweeper custodial services. Yeah. Where else are we gonna go? Copy that.
I'm not driving up the sandy. It's too far. Yeah, I've been through like most of these. I know that there's like a ghost shop here. I think I've actually, this is the area that I've explored the most. Ooh, Corleone Stakes is here. Yeah, it's like a haunted ghost shop thing. What does the uh, exclamation mark mean? Oh, it's like heavy door. It's like not accessible for handicap stuff. Yeah, I've been through most of these. Um, there was something else I wanted to check, but I think it was in a different part of the city. It might have been... Um, where was it? Mirror Park. I think I wanted to check out. No, no, no. It was the uh, detective agency. I wanted to see what they looked like. That one was downtown. This looks like it's kind of like north of Mission Row. That's pretty neat. I heard Big Pussy gets a batch of paper clips from Staples and bends them all in the lockpicks by his own. By his own. On his lonesome. I don't know. What, what was I trying to say? By his own? On his own, perhaps. Okay. Right, where's, the where's the detective agency? Let's see. Two blocks here in the mission row. It's on this block somewhere. Can't wait for someone to be like, you can't be in near the bus station. You don't fuck with the bus station, gang. Oh, this is it right here. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little logo. Guys, I need you to solve the problem. Of who pooped all over Vespucci and made it super shitty and annoying. Well, this is actually nice. This is actually properly nice. A little bit of water damage. That's alright. The staircase is floating, which is interesting. Little office. Little storage. Ooh, okay. The exit? Is this like a back door or? Oh, like a cinematic alleyway. Okay. That's cool. This is well done, actually. Person needs a raise. Little, this is a little pillar? Got a corner office, a break room. Got like a little junior partner office. Like a another oh a conference room? Okay. And then there's like the big guy office, I'm guessing. Big fella office. Where does this go? Is this the bathroom? Ooh, it's a well, I'm in someone's house now. Holy shit, it's an apartment back here. 
That's kind of neat. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I need a partner. Yo, I love these elevators because they function for people in wheelchairs to be able to go up. Uh, like it's a, it's like an elevator in RP. In actuality, it's just a ramp, so people in people can get up with um, wheelchairs. Very accessible, huge. Plus one accessibility. Conference room. This is nice, actually. I would rate this, out of the places I've surveyed so far, I would probably give this my first 10. I like it a lot. Ooh. You would not want this desk. The flies would get annoying. Ozy fire. Oh, I wonder if I can catch on fire here. Careful. Yeah, right. Yeah, I agree. They also were in this place, if I remember. It was unlikely, but... Ooh, a bathroom? Ooh, and they don't even got stall door gaps, so you can't even peep on someone else pooping. But I guess they kind of do. Oh, and there's a railing for accessibility. These guys really thought about it all. This this designer's good. Is this a other gender bathroom? No, this is a, ooh. Okay. A red room for photographs. All right, that's cool. All right, I I stand with the ten. I, like the, I think I like the, the reception the most, to be honest, because it feels like an actual reception. I wish the server had a way to support stuff like this. Like, actually had staffing this. What? Hey, Warden's around if you want to call him. Alright, I'll call him. Yeah. <laughs> Hang up on him. He didn't answer. Hello. Hey, what's up? You know what this is? Uh, yeah, yeah, Owen. Yeah, did you get my text from yesterday? Uh, I haven't been on duty. Let me check. All right, I'll summarize it. Uh, I was hearing through my commands that DOC or yourself had instructed PD to not respond with lethal weapons to riots. Is there any truth to that? Uh, no, so what we discussed was if we can try to introduce you guys having robber slugs, not to ban you guys from coming up with lethal, lethals at all. Who who told you that? Um, I was related to me by Sergeant Div of the LSPD. Oh, okay. So what we discussed was having a breaching training and not at all you guys being banned from responding with lethals. You guys want to train us on breaching, is that it? No, she, so apparently Viv set up a training day for cadets with yeah. rubber slugs and she wanted well, she them to have She was doing HBTU them. training yeah. for, it wasn't about the rubber slugs. She was doing that because um, tasers don't adequately represent firearms and rubber slugs don't really either, but they're a little closer. So she wanted rubber slugs to treat, like to train for firearm training, not not like rubber slug training. Just wanted them as a, a placeholder. Oh, gotcha, standard. gotcha. Okay, no, no. Uh, I didn't mean it that way. It was just we were discussing how and if we need to assess a situation where we don't need lethals, that you guys can also carry the rubber slug, kind of like what Toretta did during the sanguine shit. So it was more like um, if we could de-escalate situations, we would rather do that rather than shoot inmates. Okay. Well, just to be clear, um, and I, I expect that this is through several layers of telephone game and miscommunication that's why i want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt but it was relayed that someone in doc had ordered uh someone in pd to put away their lethals before entering prison or to not use their lethals during a riot and just to communicate clearly the pd stance on it is if we're called for assistance we are going like in, in relation to a yeah, riot you're, you're coming up with lethals yeah we're coming up yeah, with lethals 100 percent yeah. of the time and if there's an option to use rubber slugs some officers may take it and assist and some might some might not if you guys want to go in with rubber slugs first before we go in with lethals, that's fine. But if PD's coming up, we're coming with lethals for riots. If it's not a riot, 
then I think it's perfectly reasonable to not come with lethals. If we're going to chat with a prisoner, they should be left in the lockbox in the car. Just to yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I I agree hundred percent with that. I think what happened during that situation was the people in charge didn't want PD down, but they didn't downgrade from a seventy eight call for some reason. I see. Uh, so so we had Carter and ten other cops standing catwalks for twenty minutes, holding their dicks with their hands. I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, no problem. Things happen. So so that's why I just wanted to reach out details. and talk to you personally yeah. before any rash decisions were made or whatever. I'll uh, I'll communicate it to the rest of PD and put them on the same page that if they want to use rubber slugs, they can, but they're fine to carry lethals during riots. Yeah, hundred percent. Still are. Right. Always are. All right. Cool. Is there anything else Perfect. you wanted to talk to me about while we have a moment, or we're all good? Apparently, um, Harvey quit as the uh, liaison, by the way, so I won't be going through him at all. Yeah, uh, go straight to us if you need anything. Yeah. Uh, currently, we tried to set up a meeting a few days ago with Stubble. I can't remember from the top of my head what we wanted to talk about. Um, but if you're available later this week, we can try to have a meeting. Sure, I'll be there. Give me a time. Stubble, All unfortunately, right. yeah. is away this weekend for an extended prostate exam. I'm not sure oh. why, but he took like five days off to get his prostate exams. Um, so no, um, is he is he getting second opinions? Maybe, maybe he's having like seconds and thirds. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, anyway, yeah. he'll be back Hopefully, probably uh, yeah. next couple days. Yeah, we'll expect him. All right. Well, uh, if you send me a text or something or email or whatever about what time you guys agree on, I'll be there. Just let me know. Sounds good, Owen. Take care. All right. See you. Bye. That's awesome. He's Warden's a really decent guy. And I'm glad that I communicate directly with him. I heard you got hit yep. by a car earlier. Yeah, I did. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go on Discord and message. That it. That's gotta be Harvey. What? Was that was that all? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You're not dead, hey. so fine. Oh no, I lived. It was just haze, you know. The whole mechanic shop hit you with a fucking car? No, the fucking the deputy. Oh, yeah, okay. Makes more yeah. sense. No. When I talk about I, I never talk about that fucking mechanic shop. Uh it happening again? Yeah, I think I just got. Oh shit! Yeah, Hayes just no. Orally, orally just crashed into me and. Why? Why is it every time I fucking say her name that happens? Well, I think you're Sensen, learning a valuable lesson. Sense I'll call you back. All right, you don't have to do that. Get me hung up. Um, well, technically. Not to be, uh, I'm actually Akira. I'm actually, everybody's a deputy besides the sheriff. Um, I'm actually, everyone's a deputy besides the sheriff. That's, that's, that's what I have to say. Technically speaking, the sheriff is the only real sheriff. And everyone else is a deputy of the sheriff. And they just have different ranks as deputy. So, I'm, I'm actually doing it. I'm sorry. I, I was going to jokingly do it, and then I just kind of actually did it. But technically... Everybody's a deputy. They're a deputy sergeant, a deputy corporal, deputy senior deputy, etc. A huge nerd moment, sorry. Um,
What? Yeah, it's uh, he's his cadet that hit me. I heard she died too. Yeah, I lived. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's that's crazy. You know, you say I guess it's like Malton. You say her name. You should really stop saying it then. I should really stop saying her name. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're like uh, being weird about it and like getting hit by cars. No, I don't like being hit by cars. She did. She did offer to hit me with a car, though. I said no, thank you. Well, all it would take is one word. <laughs> yeah, apparently, there's like nothing else you need. You just wanted to just check on me, make sure I'm okay. Make sure you weren't oh, dead. But... We got uh, we got applicant interviews in an hour and thirty minutes. If you want luck to be with there. that. That's crazy. You don't want to be there and meet the future. I don't need the foosball meet... guy is going to be there. Maybe if I'm there, you know, I don't think I'm going to be on duty. You like the foosball guy? I don't really know him. He's, I know he's about his foosball stuff. That's about it. He's going to be there. Yeah. Is there anyone else important? Anyone else I would know? Uh, anyone else? Nadia Valentine? Dispatcher? Uh, I don't know that person. You can come meet her. No. It's above you. No, it's below me. Oh yeah, blow you. Yeah, I have a whole hey, department uh, to deal with that. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a demented diaper baby actually coming back or no? Absolutely he, not. Maybe is the not. shift two sergeant he accepts it. That'd be shift huge, two right? Sergeant. Yeah, shift yeah. two SDSO sergeant. Would be pretty huge. Yeah, I could. Learn. Otherwise, I think he's full of shit. I don't believe him. Any of it. You know who would make a really good shift two sergeant? Luka Kovacic. Yeah, well, you took the words right out of my mouth. Are you guys, like, looking at him or something? Um, no, that's just what everyone says. I see your car here at the SDSO. Are you here? Uh, no, I I parked... I, I have my patrol car now. Oh, you're... Okay. I'm getting repairs because uh, Hayes's cadet fucking drove into me. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to hang up now. Okay. You just, you're gonna get run over again because you said her name, by the way. So, good luck with that. I'm safely. I'm safe in the SDSO. She can't hurt me. Well, she'll wait for you. So, see you later. All right. Um. So I spoke to him and cleared it up. Basically, he wants to encourage PD to respond to riots with the less than lethal rubber slug shotguns. Ooh. Don't park that car. Ooh. What? You need to go park your cop car. It's been marked for tow. Um, okay, I'll do that later. I'm busy right now. Yeah, I was letting you know because otherwise it's going to keep popping up in the system and someone else will grab it if it's not us. Well, they'll go to jail for that, but all right. I mean, technically, you are illegally parked right now. <laughs> How so? You are literally parked in the yellow zone, and you'll have your lights on. That's not a yellow zone. That's yellow on the road. It's not on the curb. That still counts as yellow, yellow zone. Wrong. You done? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm not going to argue because I know I'm right because I don't want to throw the codes, so... Uh, basically, he just wants PD to respond to riots with less than lethal rubber suck shotguns, if applicable. But it's not mandatory, and PD is, of course, always going to respond with lethals if given 78. Seventy-eights or. Probably the BBMC. Um, going to prison. Okay, I have to say that's really stupid for one reason exactly. How the fuck would this be a no parking zone if there was a parking meter right here? 
Just can, the yellow on the road means nothing. It's not on the curb. If it were a no parking zone, there wouldn't be a parking meter here. Anyway, now that I'm done proving that I'm right, because I'm always right, and tow truck drivers can suck a big fat one, uh, I gotta finish writing this. Statement for the rest of PD. Uh, if asked to come through for 78s or 13As. Okay, uh, I wrote this up. Hello? Hey, Sheriff Corporal Pike. Yeah. Hey, I uh, apologize for the confusion with the hiring of Adelaide and Knox. Uh, didn't get a lot of turnover, but uh, I think I have it fixed now for you. Yeah, I already She's... gave her keys, but just okay. in the future, if you want stuff done, no, it's got to no, be I... just so I know exactly what it 100%, is. 100%. No, I got you. I'll make sure it's uh, proper in the future, all right? Yeah, and not to scream at you, but the, the photos no, no, is I because... Know. If, to be honest, if it doesn't happen mm -hmm. when they're a cadet, it'll be like a year before anyone notices and they just want to have right. a picture. And I don't want to print a badge with no picture because then anyone can just take that badge and identify as a cop all day. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah. sir. I hear you. I got right. you. No problem. All right. Thanks Thank you. Bye. That's good. I'll swear it away then. That was, a, that was a very productive day so far, I think, in personal. We got to explore some storefronts and uh, BBMC taught me a real lesson. Um, we got to resolve the, or update some MVW access sheets. We got to resolve the active miscommunication of the week between DOC and PD. And, uh, Harvey got run over. That's a, that's a pretty sick day, to be honest. Ah, oh, what a good day. Issues resolved, fires put out, and uh, I'm very, I'm very happy with the chain of commands here today. Uh, Pike handled his shit, great job. Viv handled her shit, great job. Harvey didn't die, that's too bad. <laughs> that's good. Harvey cracks me up. He's one of the only guys that actually like reaches out and uh, talks to Svensson despite being such an asshole. He gets a pass. How did I get out there? Minor T coming back to fuck everything up. I need to give him a new nickname. If there's any command reports, why not? I need to give him a new nickname instead of Big T. Yeah, it's just a Den Shiesty one. You're a Harvey fan? I hate to admit it. I'll tell you what, on an OC level, I'm a Harvey fan. I think Nesk is funny. And uh, it reminds me a lot of the way I used to RP Svensson and, and still do. But in character, Harvey is the worst.
Dodging T. Ooh. Power T, dodging T. How do I how do I incorporate a nickname into the fact that he abandoned the state during our major time of need? Deserter. Well, well, well. If it isn't deserter, I think deserter is pretty good. I'm gonna call Aurora and grief her real quick. That is the wrong number, but I'm gonna call it five instead of six. That's fine. Absentee is pretty good. Oh, wait. Hello? Hi, Sheriff. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, I have to have your car towed. There's a parking meter here and you didn't pay it. Okay. I mean, you realize there's a parking meter here. Are you just not going to pay I, it? I did, I did pay it, but that was hours ago. I've been working at autos. You think it's, you can just leave your car here all day for free? <laughs> Listen, I had to ride a bicycle to auto so I could open a garage. Why a bicycle? You have a car. Because you have to have a, a bicycle to open the garage bay. What? Yeah, it's, it's a thing at autos to keep the bays open. You have to put bicycles there. Oh. Weird. Uh, also, could have noticed your plate is Raven. Are you a big fan of his or friends? or? Uh, no, actually, I, I just I met him, but I have... Odin and a raven tattooed on my back, so I like raven. Oh, you're a huge raven fan. Yeah, I, li I like Norse I'll mythology. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I, I don't think he realizes okay. he has some fans, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Listen, I'll pay the parking meter this time, but right. next time, no free passes, Aurora. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. See ya. Obviously, she's got like a Norse tattoo, and we're just gonna make it into a, a raven thing. Ooh, Model T is pretty good too. I think Absentee is the best one I heard. Who's who's getting the credit for Absentee? By the way, is that Bear's original invention, or did someone else say it? Patrick. Ah, oh. I don't want to give you credit. Um, who else wants credit? Because he's a non-sub. Uh, let me change his mented diaper baby. Copy number, delete contact. Not contact. Tab. Then. D. Who is I never one on the phone now? Um. Me, also an onset. Well. Come on now. Let's see. Oh, he still got his alias, his demented diaper baby. That's crazy. I saw the strike points for doing that. Nope, oh, they fell off. Doing my part, sir. That's all right. Appreciate your contribution. That's a really funny one. I'm going to use that. Oh, this is so slow. That's... Uh... Changes the apartment to 12 for UPD. That's funny. Damn it, I think I fucked something up. What did I delete? Look at that. And then rank? What ranks do you have? 10? We're definitely changing that. Not the sheriff. What's a funny joke rank I can give him?
County clerk, I like that. 22. I might use that. Stupid dog. Oh, that's even good. Oh. Colonel? That did not last long, that rank. Well, you can see the generations of PD restructures here. Red sold, right? The twenty two. No, twenty six it is. Stupid dog. Dominic Toretti, Absentee, Stupid Dog, UPD. Alright, that'll work. I love this book. This is a sick book. Alright, hold on to that. What a really productive day. I agree. Gotta get my briefcase. Oh, so where is he? Oh, he's in bed. Dude, he's... That cat just fucking loves sleeping, man. I'll be honest with you. Bozo spends about 60% of his day in that bed sleeping. But last night, he was up running around, meowing like crazy. He's a very quiet cat. I know I've talked about that before. He's a very quiet little guy who doesn't talk too much. But last night, he was fucking yapping, dude. I need a therapist. He was motherfucking yapping, dude. He was. Uh, it's because I took him outside. And he wanted to go back outside. He was not finished. But I was. Went outside for like 15 minutes. And he was so excited about it. He's yapping. How excited he was. I'm a little worried he's going to like claw the baseboard open and like escape through the door i know that's an insane it's it's an unreasonable fear because it's impossible but you know when they get older they sleep more and more and suddenly they get a burst of energy all of a sudden i think in the last week and a half he's become like a different not a different cat he's gotten so like he's like changed a little bit i don't know if he just finally feels like at home or something but he's like, he actually tried to fucking run out the door. He actually got out the door the other day. I went out to, I got my groceries delivered. I'm lazy. And, um, dude bolted outside the door. I talked about it when it happened on stream. And he just went out and started eating grass. So I just kind of like calmly went over and picked him up. And it was all fine and good. But I was like, holy shit. He's kind of bolted for it. But, um, I grabbed him. 
He just likes being outside. So I'm gonna get him a new uh, harness because I don't like the one I have right now because it's not very secure. So I'm gonna buy a new, more expensive harness, and uh, so he can go outside more often, more securely. Is he rebellious teen hurt? He is. He's. I think he's like four and a half now or something. Maybe in cat years, that's like thirteen. Queen, teen. I, he doesn't respond to catnip, really. I don't... Maybe I could try a different brand of catnip, but... Are you following me? Uh, Swetson. No, I'm getting your one. Hi. Cat grass. Or the other stuff I sent you. I might have forgotten. Silver or something? Oh, I'll have to look back what it was is it cold yet in our part of the world it is i was about to mention the degrees like the temperature and degrees but it's fahrenheit and that would mean nothing to you because you're british i remember um i would say it's like fall weather i don't know that doesn't mean much it's it, I'll, I'll give you it anyways it's uh it's like 70 degrees to like 60 i think that translates roughly to like Oh man, I'm gonna guess and I'm gonna be wrong, like 40 or something. Is there a way to show this in Celsius so I can see it exactly? Oh, sorry, not 40. Uh, 40 is hot as fuck. Um, I was thinking like, um, I was thinking like 30 was freezing for some reason in Celsius. Yeah, zero is freezing. I forget that. In Celsius, zero isn't even that cold. Like, I guess it, zero is cold in Celsius, but it's not like you can't live in that, right? Whereas zero in Fahrenheit is like, holy shit, you should, you're in a little bit of danger here. Oh, it's Riker, I need you. Not good. 40 is like 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah, so. Yeah, like 20, I think. Sounds right. Anyway, so yeah, I guess you could say it's getting a little cold, but it's like sweatshirt weather. Sweatshirt weather. So I don't know if that affects it or something. Fahrenheit applies the body, Celsius applies the water. I, the, the best way I ever heard it is Celsius is really good for science, and uh, Fahrenheit's really good for people. Because Fahrenheit gives you a pretty good range of like, if it's zero in Fahrenheit, you're in danger, it's too cold. If it's 100 in Fahrenheit, you're in danger, it's too warm. But it gives you a good approximation of what the human body can handle without appropriate clothing. But Celsius is much better for science. Anyway, enough arguing about Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, I, gotta go buy, I gotta go buy this cat a new uh, harness, so I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna end my stream. I think this is a um, a rare, no League of Legends, just GTA RP stream. Cut. Who the fuck is Kevin, Stardust? That guy sounds like a nerd. I don't care how good Kevin is at science. Anyway, um, seriously. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll raid somebody. Let's see who's live. Let's see who's fucking live. Hasty's live. Have a good rest of your day. I think I will. But only because you told me that, Skunk. If you hadn't said that just now, I would have completely ignored that and had a bad day on purpose. You know what? You haven't raided in forever. Uh... 
hoping I'm spelling this right. Red Snowball. Snowball's a cool guy. He's uh, he's holding it down for LSPD. So, if you want to watch GTRP? That's the channel to watch right now. I'll uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I think there's Clash again, not this weekend, but the next one. But that's kind of the only thing on my radar as far as plans. So, I'll see you guys later. Have a great evening.